Sorry. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> what is up, guys? We are back with Kelly from Otimo, legendary app that helps you with everything. 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 Is there anything that Otimo doesn't help with? When it comes to learning to drive, absolutely everything. Oh, okay, I was about to say making breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can't do lottery numbers or make your breakfast, but theory, practical, and everything in between, Otimo has got your back. We are going to do a motorway lesson today. Mm -hmm. First time on a motorway? It is. Okay, do you know what? Let's not sit through all of the boring spiel. Let's just get on with it. Okay. If you've never been on a motorway, this is going to be super useful for you. The first time on a motorway can be really scary. If you're with an instructor though, that can show you what to do, it's actually not that hard. Should we have a look? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. I'm a bit scared, but... Pull away when you're ready. <laughs> Awesome, really nice pull away. So Kelly's had one lesson since you haven't... Four years. Since in four years. One lesson and then loads of lessons four years ago, but that's it. So this is really gonna highlight how easy driving on a motorway is and how much it doesn't need to cause you the fear that it does for most people. You looking forward to it? I am, I'm a bit scared, but... Okay, <laughs> what is it that you're most scared of? A lot of cars, going really fast. 70 yeah. sounds fast, doesn't it? <laughs> it sounds like mental speeds, but actually once you get used to it, it's not that fast. When you first started learning to drive, didn't 30 miles an hour sound fast? Yeah. 30 miles an hour sounds crazy, but then you just get used to it. Same with this. The bit about motorways that makes people nervous is slip roads. Once you're on the motorway, it's really easy. Getting onto and off the motorway though, is where you're gonna have trouble if you've never practiced it before. Slip roads are really easy. I'm gonna guide you through the whole thing, but I'm mm -hmm. gonna get you to do three things. Mm -hmm. Speed up, indicate, and find a gap in the left lane. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll talk that through while we're on the slip road. <laughs> Awesome. So you can see the slip right ahead of us. It says 50 miles an hour. So here's where I want you to put the foot all the way into the carpet. Third gear. Speed up is first. Indicate is next. So signal right for me. Fourth gear. Speed up some more. And we're going to find a gap in the left lane. Look in your mirror. Is there anything in the left lane? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Let's yeah. get ahead of it. So speed can up I, some more. Can I? The van's a long way away from us. Can I go? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Can you see, did you see that white van in, yeah. your, in your mirror? Yeah, yeah, yeah Is it hard to judge distance? Yeah, Sometimes. A okay, we'll work on that as we carry on. So right now we're doing 49 miles an hour. How does it feel? Okay. Okay, I good. Think it feels all right. Great, perfect. Yeah. How did you find this slip road? It wasn't too bad. We're going to try some more later so that it becomes natural. Yeah. Let's speed up and catch up to that car in front. We want about a two second distance mm -hmm. away from the vehicle in front. Do you know how to count two seconds in distance? Mm, no, not really. Okay, so the way we do it is, when they pass something stationary, mm -hmm. you start counting. Okay. Stop counting when you get to the stationary start thing too. Bridge. Let's do the bridge, yeah. One, One two, two yeah. three. So we're about three seconds behind the gray car. Perfect. We don't want to get closer than two seconds yeah. in the dry. Do you know what it is for wet? Five seconds? Four seconds, okay. close. <laughs> what about snow and ice? 10 seconds? Yes, <laughs> well done. Okay, so we're doing about 43 miles an hour now. Yeah, I think I could Feels comfortable, but we kind of want to get to our destination a little bit quicker. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start thinking about overtaking because you okay. look like you're dealing with this super well. <laughs> Overtaking's easy, mirror, signal and move. It's okay. not signal until we've got a gap that we want to move yeah. into. So potentially after that gray van, can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Signal now. Go for it. Slide in. And then increase the distance back to two seconds. Cancel the signal. Perfect. Amazing. <laughs> okay, this is a lot easier than you thought it was going to be, yeah. right? Yeah, good. Yeah. Still a bit nervous, but... Well, we haven't got to the M25 yet. <laughs> How's your positioning? Do you feel good? 
think so. Okay, I'll tell you one way to check. Keep the speed on, because mm -hmm. we're going up a hill. A bit more gas. Check your right mirror. Can you see the white line? Mm -hmm. Check your left mirror, see the white line? Yeah. We want them the same distance away from the car. Perfect, roughly. yeah, <laughs> perfect right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to slowly overtake these vehicles on the left, mm -hmm. then we're going to move back into the left lane. And we're going to think about how to do that safely. Mm -hmm. We don't want to cut in front of this grey car too soon, because it might give them a shock. Do you think I should put, go up to fifth gear? In a second. Still Let's do that in a second. So how can we tell when we're two seconds ahead of this car? Count now. Let's start not counting. We're going to check your rear view mirror. Can you see the front of the car yet? Yeah. The front of the car, the bonnet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, signal left, slide back into the left. When you can see the front of the car, yeah. you're far enough away to move back in. Okay. Perfect, we're going to do loads more overtaking as well. Cool. Let's move into fifth gear now. The car will be more comfortable. Oh. Yeah. And you'll use less fuel. Forty-eight, forty-nine, brilliant. Is it fifty miles an hour? Fifty miles an hour still, yeah. I'm going to have a theory question for you in a second, Kelly. Oh god, <laughs> I um, definitely need to revise my theory. Have you done any theory training on the Ottawa app for your driving test coming up? I have. I've just started. It's got literally everything in there at the moment. Okay. Not hazard perception, but that's coming soon. All oh, right. You can watch our videos for hazard perception if you need hazard perception help. Coming soon to the Ottimo app as well. Mm -hmm. The thing that Ottimo has on their app is road signs. Yeah. Which on a motorway, and on a motorway, you have some road signs that you don't find anywhere else. So we'll be spotting some road signs that you guys can look at. And if you don't know what they are, you need to download Ottimo right now and go and practice them. Yeah. When you're on a dual carriageway or a road that's got multiple lanes, do you know which mm -hmm. lane you're supposed to drive in? Would it be the left? The left lane, yeah. So if you've got a lane and you're not overtaking anyone, we're yeah. going to move back to the left. Okay, shall we? Go for it. Safe to move. Happy days. Cancel the signal, let's get back up to speed. What does that sign mean? The red circle with a cross and a blue background? Oh, you told me this a red route. Oh, I don't know. It's a clear way. A clear way. If it's got a cross, that means no stopping. Okay. So they don't have to paint red lines on the side of the road. Okay. You just can't stop unless you're yeah. in traffic. Okay. What does it mean, Laura, if it's not got a cross, it's just got a line through it, a red line? Not a cross, just a line. <laughs> I'm going to flash it up on screen now. You're going to flash up on screen? I'm going to my Osmo app to revive. <laughs> <laughs> a cross is no stopping, a line is no parking. Did you not know that one? Bloody hell. I need to, I need to visualise it. Okay, yeah, that's that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> okay, so let's look at these signs coming up and let's mm -hmm. look at what the road markings are telling us as well. So right now it's changing from a long hazard line into a short stubby line. Do you know what the difference is? No. If you can't drive, <laughs> then you wouldn't know the difference. Do you know what the difference is, Laura? This is going to be veering off to the left. It's going to be a slip road. So what we need to do is we need mm -hmm. to move over to the right one lane. Okay. When you're ready. Awesome. Have you seen these three, two, one countdown markers? Um, no. What they Sorry. mean is 300, 200, and 100 yards mm -hmm. until an exit. Okay. We'll be using that soon. Okay. Let's pick the speed back up, Kelly. Nice. It's easy to, let's pull it back. If they cut in front of us, we'll give them two seconds. It's easy to zone out, isn't it? Yeah. On a, on a motorway. Well, too far. I'm not zoning out, I'm coming. You're not zoning, okay, fine. <laughs> let's keep up with them now, that's about two seconds. But to lose track of your speed, yeah, to lose track of yeah, your positioning easy. on yeah, the road. Definitely. Yeah, which is why it's really, really, really recommended to not drive on a motorway when you're tired. It's yeah. so easy to lose concentration. Yeah. I've got a sign coming up in a second. That's one of the most misread signs, mm -hmm. I think, around. And we're going to have a car quiz to see who knows <laughs> what the sign is. <laughs> okay. Cool, let's pick it back up to 40 to 50. There's a black and white sign in front of us. <laughs> what does that sign mean? 60? Nearly. No, it means that, is it 
70. It means national speed national limit. National speed limit. National speed right. limit on a dual carriageway like this is 70 miles an hour. Okay. So we're going to keep increasing that speed nice and gently at your own pace. When it's safe to, you can move back into the left lane because we're not overtaking. Lovely. Really nice. Happy with that speed? Mm -hmm. Feel comfortable? Yeah. Awesome. Should I go up let's again? Go into, yeah, let's go into seventh gear. Sixth gear. Sixth gear. Seven. 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 I, thought I, was, I thought I was in my McLaren. <laughs> Really nice. Actually, the speed's not a problem. It's not yeah. never the speed that's a problem. Let's ease off the gas now. We can't go past yeah, this can't. white overtake. car on the left. Let's just brake a little bit. Get back to their speed. And we're going to overtake them on the right. Check oh, signal. God. And uh, I'll wait for that if car. you want to wait for that one. And when you're going faster, you have to steer a lot more sensitively. So nice and gently into oh, the right lane. Go for it. That? No, I think I'm going to wait for that one. Okay, keep the speed up though. Sorry and move back into the right middle lane. Nice and gently on that steering. The steering has a bigger impact the faster yeah. you're going. Let's push back up to the white car and we'll get round them on the right. We literally probably only need to use a millimetre of steering. Let's try it again, go for the overtake once that car's gone past. Perfect. German lane in. Really nice. Let's pick up the speed and get past the Ford. What's this Ford doing wrong? Just sitting in the middle lane. Sitting in the middle lane, going really, really yeah, slowly. Yeah, some people obviously, like, we could have easily undertaken, but you can't do that. <laughs> we can't do that. Not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, brilliant. We're going to get back into the middle lane and then we're going to talk about safe positioning. Mm -hmm. So let's just make sure that we can see the front of that car before we move back in. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so the faster we're going, the bigger the impact the steering has. What I want you to do is look further ahead. Mm -hmm. Look at that black car that's way down the road from us yeah. and aim for a point in the middle of our lane, as mm -hmm. far away as possible. So instead of picking a point close to you to aim for, pick a point far away and just steer towards it. Yeah. Then you don't have to do so much steering in between the lane yeah. that we're in. We're going to move into the left lane now. Just slow down and get behind that smart car. So we found out 70's not scary. Yeah. 70's fine. How do you feel? I feel, I feel okay. Yeah, good. I feel more at ease than before. Amazing. Look at this. You've just gone 20, 70 miles an hour on the A2. We're going to leave at the next exit. We're mm -hmm. going to signal around the second marker. So here. Yeah. Not exactly at it. You should mm -hmm. signal around marker yeah. number two. We're going to exit here and then keep to the jump right. Again. Keep, keep it's to the fine. Right. And then keep to the right of the road. As we start to slow down, I want you to check your speed to make sure you're doing the speed that you think you're doing. Keep to the right still. What am I meant to be doing, sorry? So we're going to get back down to zero, but when you've been doing 70 for a yeah. long time, it feels like you're going a lot slower than you are. So have yeah. a look now, 30 miles an hour. doesn't mm -hmm. feel like 30, no, does it? it so we're going to keep an eye on the speed to make sure we're doing what we think. Clutch down, don't worry about the gears, because we're stopping anyway. Right. And nice and gently, decent distance from the smart car, back to first gear. So we're going to follow oh. this roundabout around to the M25. Oh. Brake on. Oh, sorry. That's cool. Good, got okay. it. And it's a pretty complicated roundabout. There's loads of exits, but they've made it really simple for you. Just mm -hmm. look for M25 on the floor. Okay. Cool. And we'll just follow that round. Beautiful. Nice pull away. Second gear. And we'll stay at about 20 miles an hour, no faster than that. So we don't want to go to third gear. Follow the smart car, look on the floor. M25, brilliant. Mm -hmm. That's all we're going to try and find. Should I go to third gear? This speed's good. We don't okay. want to go any much faster than this because there's stuff we need to be looking out yeah, for. M25, yeah. got it. M25, got it. And it's going to move, oh, keep going. It's going to move us around to the left a little bit. Keep looking for, on the floor. Oh. Behind Addison Lee. Oh. Perfect. Take off the signal. M25, right there. Mm -hmm. And what can we see in front of us? M25S. Perfect. That's where we're getting off. So let's put a left signal on now. Get into the left lane behind A1. Oh, look how dirty that car is, but I love an A1. We're going to do the exact same thing again. Speed up, indicate, mm -hmm. find a gap. Over to you. Firstly, speed oh. up. We've got loads of time, Kelly. Don't worry. So don't, speed up. Don't go into another gear? Yeah, what keep, keep changing gear. Oh. Indicate. And there's a gap in the left lane. Can you see the lorry? Yeah. Speed up and go. Beautiful. Cancel the signal, catch up to the lorry. 
How about that? Okay, he's moving in front of yeah. us. We'll just stay centered in our lane. Oh, too many lorries. Lorries are a bit scary. Okay, just make sure that we're planted in the middle of our yeah. lane. And when you're ready, move into Ooh, God, sorry, fifth sorry, gear. Sorry. It's all good. Focus on a point a little bit further ahead. Good job. How do you feel now? I feel okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't cool. like lorries. So we're not going very fast. You've driven faster than this already. Yeah. So this should feel comfortable. Yeah. It is a bigger road and it's slightly busier. Mm -hmm. But we're actually not driving fast. No. The first time you get on a motorway, all you need to do is get in the left lane with all the slow moving vehicles. Keep your distance, keep in the middle of the lane. Mm -hmm. And then once you feel comfortable, start overtaking. Yeah. Where was your first motorway drive when you passed your test? Good Martin. question. Can't remember. Uh, okay, so we're gonna aim for A20 London. Mm -hmm. What lane do you think we need to be in for that? This one. Perfect, cool. One mile away. Notice it says 1M on mm -hmm. the left. So if we're doing 60 miles an hour, one mile will take one minute. So we're about yeah. a minute away right now. If we were overtaking in the right lane, we would then want to move yeah. across. Is the motorway a bit easier than you thought it was going to be? Yeah, I think okay. so. Good. It just feels scary. Does it still <laughs> like, feel scary or are you settling in mm, now? I'm settling in. Good, yeah. The first time you get on the motorway, it's like, well, this is the M25. Yeah. But actually, now you're on it. Yeah. I feel like, like I can sometimes be a nervous passenger. Okay. So, I actually feel... Is that because Joe's a, an awful driver? Is that okay? You could definitely be better. <laughs> oh, God. If I turn the cameras off, would you say the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> he's he's alright. He could be better. Send him up and we'll give him a lesson too. <laughs> I think he's too hesitant sometimes. Oh, like I know really? I talk about my, myself being too hesitant, but then okay. he always shouts at me for being a <laughs> passenger seat driver, which I can't even drive, so I shouldn't be. Okay, so we're doing really well. We're at junction three right now. A20 is mm -hmm. coming up soon. We're going to stick in this lane and start looking out for those countdown markers, mm -hmm. which will show us where our exit is going to be. Yeah. Doing really well so far with positioning. Really good on the distance of the bus in front. It's not as bad as you thought it was going to be, right? No. No, it's <laughs> not, is it? Okay, we can, see those, we can see <laughs> yeah. those countdown markers coming up, so we're nearly 300 yards away. Mm-hmm. Is it the second one that I put the signal on? Perfect. Let's keep up the speed as well. Sorry. It's all right. Brilliant. And we're not going to start braking yet. No braking yeah. now, because then the lorry behind us has to brake. Ten lorries back has to brake yeah. too. Cancel the signal. This is what the right lane, lane is for. We're going to start one? slowing down now, before we get to the roundabout, and I want you to switch to the right lane. Perfect. Nice mirror check. Check your speed. Make sure you're doing the speed you think you're doing, and switch to third gear. Great. Clutch up, and if the light stays green, we're in a perfect gear to take this roundabout. Slow down a bit more. Wait, am I still doing? Yep. Slow down. Keep to the right. Just check your speed, we're going quite fast. Yeah. That was 30 miles an hour in that roundabout. <laughs> it does feel a lot slower yeah. than you think it does, which is why I always say check your speed. So we'll keep it slow and we're going to keep going round. Slow down a little bit. We've got loads of time. No rush round roundabouts. No. If the light stays green, we're yeah. going to keep going. If not, we're ready to stop. Awesome. We're going to move into the left lane after this van. Mm-hmm. Or one lane to the left, sorry. Keep going, oh. do it. It's fine, keep, keep in this lane. Mm. Oh. It's all good, oh keep going. Oopsie. Sorry. First gear. Ambulance. We're not leaving at this one, it's the one after Swanley. Second. We're stopping anyway. Follow this yellow lorry. Okay. Slow down. That's probably a bit close. Fine, light's turning green, okay. ready to move. And there's his, and we're gonna do one more slip road. Remember, it's speed mm -hmm. up, indicate, find a gap. Work your way through the gears. Mm -hmm. And I want you to take control of this one. Tell me if it's safe to move into the, okay. onto the A20. Ready? Mm -hmm. Speed up, indicate, find a gap, over to you. Oh, I'm scared. If you need some help, ask me. <laughs> I think you've got this though. Really 
good. It might look like a mishmash of cars in your right mirror. You can cancel the signal now and just stay here. Okay. Oh yeah, no, overtake him if you want. It might look like a mishmash of cars in your right mirror, mm -hmm. but actually, all we're looking for is the left lane. Is this sorry, 70. Is 70? Yeah, go for it. Oh, it's right there. Cool, I've got you. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> and I'll help you with that in a sec. Let's overtake this guy, and when you you think it's safe, move mm -hmm. back into the left lane. One thing at a time. I don't know why I was starting that. Brilliant. Because you wanted to move into sixth gear, right? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. You're in a straight line now, go for it. Okay, so you had a little wobble a second yeah. ago where you were changing gear and you steered with the other hand. Because mm -hmm. the gears are a bit stiff, it makes you want to try and tug and use your whole body to change them. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a technique or a trick which you guys can help try at home as well. Hold the steering wheel with one hand. Mm -hmm. and put the other hand on the gears. We're not going to change gear. I just want you to yeah. rest your left hand do you want me to do on that? the gears. Yeah, go for it. Great. And we're just going to spend five minutes steering with one hand. Okay. Okay. You should drive with two hands, but you do need to be able to drive with one hand as well. For example, to change gear. How does that feel? Off balance? Yeah, a little bit. Does it feel weird? Yeah. Yeah? Like but I'm having to concentrate more. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. Like anything to do with driving, you just practice and it gets easier. Perfect lane positioning, really nice. And if you've got trouble with lane positioning, two tricks. Number one, what I told Kelly about looking in your mirrors. Number two, look further ahead. What are we gonna do about oh, this silver yeah, car? Sorry. <laughs> I was concentrating too much on this. You um, can steer back now with two hands if you want to. Yeah. Feels more comfortable now, right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> good. But keep practicing yeah. when you go yeah. home, practice driving with one hand for five minutes and then come back to two hands. Five minutes, one hand, back to two hands. And yeah. you'll find that gear changes are much easier when you're better with your right hand only. Yeah. Oh, well, that, that was bloody brilliant, <laughs> Kelly. Woohoo! You surpassed everybody's expectations. <laughs> Having not driven for four years, jumped in a car, had one lesson with Laura, and then jumped on a motorway, you've done incredibly well. Thank you. <laughs> Smashed it. And if Kelly can do it, after not driving for four years, you can do it too. If you've passed your test and your instructor hasn't given you a motorway oh. lesson, you can do this oh. as well. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's all good. What can we do? Kelly, we've got places to be. Let's go, let's go. Nice. Speed and power. Oh. And remember, you don't have to do this. You don't have to right lane it. You don't have to get up to speed straight away. Look at that Kia, the blue car. Nobody's complaining, everybody's just overtaking. If you're not comfortable at 70, you can go at 60. You can go at 55 and build up the speed slowly. Check left as well. Nice. Uh, just checking out that yellow sign that's ahead of us. What does that say? How good are your eyes? Probably better than mine, because you've got glasses. I don't know How, where you're looking. The yellow, yellow sign. sign. Green sign. The yellow sign, on the right. Oh, on the right, sorry, 50. Um, yes, so we need to break down to 50 before we get to that sign. And feel how slow 50 miles an hour feels mm -hmm. now you've been bombing down the road at 70. So we're doing 47 now. Doesn't it feel like we're on a 20 road? Yeah, it does. It's crazy how your perception of speed changes like that because mm. first you thought 70 would be insane. Mm. Now you've got used to 70, 50 feels really slow. Yeah. This is when you have police sitting in the hard shoulder waiting because <laughs> people have literally just been going at 70. 100%. And it's so much harder to maintain a reduced speed limit. Definitely. It, it, it really is. Which is why when you're coming off a slip road and you're used to being at 70 and you're trying to slow down for the roundabout ahead, you need to check your speed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Your lane positioning has been fantastic yeah. since the beginning. Your speed, you've been perfectly happy to get up to speed. I think you're looking far enough down the road because you're spotting hazards and what's coming up soon enough. Lane changing, not a problem. Check your mirrors and signal. Getting in again after you've overtaken, not a problem. Anything that's been challenging? Um, I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> According to Kelly, what's the hardest thing about driving on a motorway? I know what you're going to say. Um, of the drivers. <laughs> Other drivers. Okay, I want the motorway all to myself. Do you not know who I am? <laughs> I thought you were going to say slip roads. Oh, yeah. The slip roads are normally... Oh, yeah, slip roads. Normally I the, feel like they were a bit quiet, though. Bit. Yeah? So they weren't too bad. What people normally worry about is what if I get to the end of the slip road and there's no gap to get into? Mm, there yeah, will yeah. always be a gap because nobody's travelling bumper to bumper at 70 yeah. miles an hour. There will be a gap. You might have to speed up to get ahead of a car mm -hmm. or if you can see one in your mirror and it's a bit close, just hit the gas some more. Yeah. If you're travelling next to another car or you think you might arrive at the same time, tiny bit of brake and you'll do that yeah. so you can join behind. Really easy to join on slip roads. Just need some practice and someone to guide you through the first couple of times. Yeah. But you took that last one. Bellissimo, is that? Bellissimo. 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 Where are we Italian. going now? Straight on, all the way down. Should we stop? In, in Espanol? In Espanol? Is bonita. Bonita, bellissimo. Oh, same, 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 same. Same, same. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to pull into Shell. No need for speed here. And take it round to the back, past all of the pumps, and there's some bays to park in. See how smoothly you can brake. Give me the smoothest brake. Clutch down. Brilliant. Handbrake neutral. Do you know what that wouldn't have done? What? Spilled my cup of tea. Oh. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Well done. Sad. Motorways. If you've got any questions, put them in the video below. Me and Laura are always in the videos in the comment section with you, commenting back with you guys. Thanks for coming to see us, Kelly. Thanks, this has been great. That was awesome fun. <laughs> Thanks, Ottimo. You guys <laughs> are the best. So are you. Don't forget to like, <laughs> comment and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and we will see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>